Hello world, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name's Paul. Just a quick one today, just gonna show you around Fremantle. Got Mark here, he's having, packing his bags with cider. Um, we're not gonna go into any of the museums or anything because I've seen them all before, but we'll show you around. Right now we're at the fishing village, but for now, let's roll the intro. Behind me is the Esplanade Hotel. When we were kids, Mark, there's Mark there. Um, this was a shitty old fisherman's pub. Rough ass, rough ass. And when we won the America's Cup, they did it up like this. Um, not a bad thing though, this is a really classy old pub and beautiful old building. And behind me is the WA Shipwreck Museum. Um, I'll give you another bit of film from the front door. Like I said guys, I've been in these all the time, but this one really is, the WA Shipwreck Museum is really worth going and have a look, it's quite amazing. And if we look up here, my friend had the contract to re-roof this place back in the 80s and uh, it was a rainy day and if we didn't get the roof on in the rain, the um, tens of thousands of dollars worth of computers and paperwork and stuff would have got ruined. So we were roofing up here in the rain and I'm going to adjust this, hang on. Okay, so now I'm a bit darker but you can see the roof. I slid down that roof almost from the top. Got caught, one of the nails caught in the, back, in the pocket of my jeans, or caught about the knee of my jeans and stopped at the pocket. And I stopped with my feet dangling over the edge. And if you look here, that's one hell of a drop. I would have been splattered. But again, my little fairy's looking out for me. Guardian angel. And we'll make the code word for here. Shipwreck. Now we're at the fishing boat harbour. When we were kids, this is Cicerello's fish markets here. This just used to be a tin shed. And apart from all the boats, because it's always been the fishing boat harbour, this was it pretty much. But it's become pretty much a tourist centre for Fremantle. Heaps of restaurants, bars, there's a nightclub up the road here. And over there, we'll show you properly in a little bit, but that's the Perth Eye, our takeoff of the London Eye. And this is the actual harbour here. I'll put the drone up, show you properly. But this really is a big draw card for Fremantle. And we'll make the code word for here. Boat. And this is the Perth Eye. And it is a bit of a joke compared with the London Eye, but when you think Greater London's got almost the population of the whole of Australia, we're doing all right. Okay, it's a very special song for a very special friend of ours who unfortunately is not here any longer. This is the cafe strip. It's a bit quiet today, it's usually really packed. Back before we went the America's Cup, I've said this a lot, but this was a really rough ass part of the world. One of the more famous uh, cafes up here. We used to have a trap door in the floor, gambling in the basement. All these pubs were rough as rough. But what we'll do now is head up to the markets. And this is the famous Fremantle Markets guys. These were built in 1897, the building, but the markets have been around all my life and it used to be a big deal coming down here on Friday and Saturday night. I was lucky enough to see the end of the hippie era before it turned into all gangsters and everything and this was a really laid back place back in the old days. Um, while I'm here I want to talk about COVID again. I know I've mentioned this in the Mandra video and things but look how busy we are here because our government, well we're very isolated in WA. We've got um, 
instead of being five kilometres between towns, it's more like 50, 100 kilometres between towns. So that helped, but our government, the West Australian government, did a hard border lockdown from the very beginning. So our life, all through the last year or so, has hardly changed. I've been coming in a free man of my whole life, so I should know more about this old church, but I don't. Beautiful, beautiful old building, one of the original buildings of Fremantle. Now, you can see, compared with the last bit of film I did, and the markets are just there, but there's no one here because the homeless made a tent city just here and dead smack in the middle of Fremantle. All the meth addicts and things, and they've kind of scared people off this part of Fremantle. The government came in, moved them all on, but rather than just say move somewhere else, they gave them all motel rooms in different places around Perth. And it was during COVID, so the motel owners were saying, yeah, yeah, we need the money, send them here, but now it's becoming a bit of a problem for the motel owners, I believe. And please, not everyone that was here was like that. It was just, there's always that few that ruin it for everyone else. And this is a Fremantle train station, built in 1907. What an amazing old building. Beautiful. And this is the Fremantle Wharf. The big white building you can see at the end, that's the Maritime Museum. We've got the Rottnest Ferries here, and if you look across there, guys, that's where we were in the beaches of Perth, the Rottnest Terminal there, so the ferry goes from here to there, and then across to Rotto. Or first, it goes to Perth. This is the Swan River here. Uh, this is the East Shed Markets behind us here. Quite a bit to see down here. When, because my dad was on ships when I was a kid, I knew this place like the back of my hand. Now look at this, this would have to be my favourite building in Fremantle. This is the Fremantle Arts Centre now. When I was a kid it was the Fremantle Museum. But um, originally it was the Fremantle Insane Asylum. It was built by convicts. And um, yeah, this was the Insane Asylum. And the big story when we were kids is a good percentage of the people locked up in here just had epilepsy and at the time they thought they were the most insane people of the lot so they'd be have spent their whole lives in solitary confinement just because they had fits we'll make the code word for here art and this is the Fremantle war memorial um, you guys must wonder my foreign subscribers why we seem so fixated on World War One and two in Australia well we're such a young country that that's our history we didn't have Romans conquering us and everything our first we proved ourselves as a country pretty much in World War one and again in World War two look at this guys absolutely stunning I'll put the drone up so you can see it properly but what a beautiful part of the world I live in I was word for here memorial well that was an okay day guys fun day out um, hope you enjoyed seeing a bit of my hometown people seem to forget that Perth and Fremantle are two separate cities um, in the old days the horse and cart days guys used to, people used to have to cross the Swan River at the causeway which went into Vic Park at the eastern end of Perth Travel down Canning Highway to Canning Bridge, where the Raffles Hotel is, in the um, historic pubs of Perth video I showed you. And then up Canning Highway into Fremantle. So that was a big, big journey just to go from Perth to Fremantle back in those days. A bit different now. Sorry it was a bit rushed, guys, but like I said, I'd been into all these museums and everything already. So this was video was just to give you an idea of what's around. There's a lot more to see in Fremantle than I've showed you, believe me. I just wanted to give you a rough idea. 
Um, if you don't know what the code words are for that I've been saying along the way, I'll put a link to the video up here that explains how you can win a Mavic Mini drone. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the Mad Dog icon up there or the subscribe button down below. Give me a big thumbs up. We'll see you in the next one.